I'm David Curley, ABC News at the Kennedy Space Center, and behind me you see SpaceX's Falcon Heavy there on the launch pad, less than two minutes away now from launching into space, hopefully for SpaceX. This is the biggest rocket to take off from American soil in more than three decades. In fact, the last time we saw a rocket this big was a Saturn V, which was carrying men to the moon. This is, of course, Elon Musk's attempt to get a deeper space rocket off the ground and into space. Now, the key here is that he's taken three of his Falcon 9 rockets and strapped them together to make this Falcon Heavy. And the cargo, they need to test something up in the cargo hold. It is a Red Roadster, a Tesla Red Roadster that is going to take off here and actually be shot toward Mars. A Red Tesla going to the Red Planet. And if case, if it does work, that Tesla will actually be circling in orbit for up to a billion years, believe it or not, according to the folks here at SpaceX. So we are getting now down to the last part of the count. And it has been a delayed launch here so far at the Kennedy Space Center. The worry were high altitude winds. The window opened at 1.30 and it kept on being pushed back, pushed back. They started fueling the rockets several minutes ago and it appears that they are ready to launch. I'm listening to the SpaceX communications in my ear. We are at T minus 30 seconds and you can hear a cheer of some of the SpaceX employees who are watching this. This is very important. There was just an order to go for launch. So that means the winds have died down enough. I'm going to step out here. We are at 15 seconds to get this rocket off. And you can see already the clouds starting. Let's listen. Falcon Heavy is off the pad. What a thunderous noise is those 27 engines and the three different rockets came to life. There's been now a slight power anticipated as max impact on the structure is hit. They just said throttle back up. Behind the clouds is the three building. As you may have heard in the back end from SpaceX, the side rockets momentarily will detach. SpaceX is hoping to land all three of these first stage rockets. Okay. We've kind of lost view of it here. We're hoping you're giving the view. It's a throttle down we're hearing now from SpaceX. What it is what Elon Musk is trying to do with this rocket is reduce the cost. So if he can recover three of these first stage rockets, it would be rather remarkable. Two of them are going to land here on land. The center at sea charge. Still looking at the rising from the we can still years of SpaceX employees that are so happy that not only did they launch, but so far it has been a success. And we should have detachment of those two side rockets here momentarily.
If you heard that, they have successful separation of the two side rockets. These rockets are not are now going to power themselves down back here on the land at the Kennedy Space Center. And the center rocket, which is now basically a Falcon 9 that is pushing the rest of this cargo further up into space, uh, will then detach and come down as well. So they're getting ready now for the center separation. There was great worry from Elon Musk whether this would be successful. He thought there might even be a 50-50 chance that it would blow up on the launch pad or shortly after. None of that has come to bear. Separated, and although I can't see them, should be coming back down here to Earth. Enough. And for SpaceX and its employees, far what appears to be a huge success. In fact, uh, names of those employees are engraved on a plaque, which is on the structure that's holding that Tesla in the cargo hold. So their names headed into space as well. Elon Musk told reporters that he was a little giddy about this to happen. And while this is a very big move forward, the biggest rocket to take off from here in Kennedy Space Center in, as I said, more than three decades plus, Elon Musk has actually got a bigger rocket uh, in the works and plans not even to try and put humans on the top rocket, Falcon Heavy, which we've just seen head off into space. But in his other rocket, our big Falcon rocket, he plans to What appears to be a launch here for SpaceX will bring you the latest as to how the car and whether or not these two other stages are in land here. If I could see them, we'd stay with you. But for now, we're going to the ABC News live at the Kennedy Space Center for ABC News. successful stage separation but before that successful booster separation you can see stage one uh, the two side boosters pardon me you can see the center core and you can see MVAC and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. And as you can see on your screen, that reentry burn from those two sides. The center core in the upper left of your screen performing its own re-entry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in the, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. and side boosters have saved. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters' uh, views. Those are actually representing different boosters. Um, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side boosters transonic. And watch for the landing lights to play at the tail end of that landing. And that landing burn has started. Both boosters are 
Warriors looking to be on track towards their respective landing zones. The Warriors have started. Star Bruce's landing legs have deployed. Thank you.